Hi everyone, I'm Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet. And today is Friday. Nope. <laughs> In my job that's 24 seven, um, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Everybody has a different Friday, <laughs> like the last day of your work week. Um, so today is my Friday at work, but it's really only Thursday <laughs> for the rest of the world. It's Thursday. Um, so today is Thursday. I think it's the 22nd of August. Uh, yeah, pretty sure. Um, not Friday. But, you know, in my line of work, because I do have a Friday on a Thursday, I get two Fridays every week, which is pretty awesome. I like that. So, um, being my Friday is, makes me a, ha makes it a happy day. And I am coming at you to talk to you about yarn. Believe it or not, I know. I went yarn shopping last night and um, I went to AC Moore. I I had a coupon. They have a rewards program and it's free. You don't have to, you know, pay anything to, to be a member. You can and you get a, more benefits. Uh, you get 5% off, I think, every purchase. Um, I don't know how much you pay for that membership. I didn't do that. I just get the free membership and you earn points for every dollar you spend you earn points and when you get 2,000 points they send you um, a $10 coupon and you don't it's not a minimum purchase coupon it's just 10 bucks 10 bucks free merchandise so I got one of those in the mail last weekend maybe last Friday I think I've had it a whole week that might be a record and yesterday in my email they sent me a coupon for 60 percent off one regular price item and a coupon for ten dollars off an order of fifty dollars or more which would then bring it down to forty plus my ten dollar off coupon which would bring it down to thirty but I don't think it really works that way I think they take the ten dollar coupon off so you really have to buy um, the ten dollars off coupon that they sent me I think it's just going to be free merchandise. They you still have to spend forty bucks, um, but you get sixty dollars worth of merchandise. Does that make sense? Okay. So anyway, I went there and um, I was really disappointed. In maybe I was just in a rush. Maybe I was just tired because you know I, I get up at two in the morning to go to work and then I can't get out at noon and get some stuff around the house. Um, my husband came home from work, he cleaned the pool, and then we went out to dinner, and then we went. I went to the yarn store. He had to go to the pool store, which was across the street, and then he got gas in my car, what a sweetheart, while I was yarn shopping. And so I was like rushed, not really, I mean he wasn't rushing me, He was, but I felt like I didn't want to make him wait in the parking lot forever, because I know he's not going to come into AC Moore looking for me, you know. So anyway. I went there with like not really what do I want to buy I just have these coupons and I'm gonna spend them and uh, I wasn't real thrilled with their sale I think that's so I could just the best thing that they had on sale was um, their DK colors and sweet rolls were um, three for nine dollars which is 333 each but they run them on sale for 283 so I'm like ah, it's a good sale but it's not that great they have better um, and I have a lot of those. Maybe they might have a couple of new colors, um, but none of them were jumping out at me that, I, oh, I gotta buy those. They have their amazing lace yarn still. It's regular, I think, 10, and they still have that for $5. It was on sale last week for $5, and they still have it for $5. I haven't bought any of that, but it's really, really thin, and it's an intimidating to me, so I haven't bought any of that. Um, and their Ferris wheels were three bucks, regular four ninety nine. Um, I do have a one color way of Ferris wheel, and I thought about buying some of that, but the colors just weren't popping at me today or yesterday. I don't know. I'd probably go in there today, not as tired and um, buy a whole lot of stuff. But yesterday, I just I don't know. I wasn't into it, which sounds so weird, right? I mean, is there something wrong with me? I didn't. I, I just wasn't. I wasn't feeling the yarn yesterday, but I wanted to buy uh, some more Hugay in the cream color 
they didn't have it. Uh, I thought I would use my 60% off coupon. Um, they didn't have that in cream. They had it in white, um, but not cream. I've decided that I'm going to make a sweater out of out of that. Um, so I, I wanted extra more. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Never really made like a cardigan kind of sweater. Uh, well, not really. Kind of. Anyway, beside the point. So I did buy the lavender hoogay. Uh, and I used my 60% off coupon for this. And it's regular $10.99 or $9.99. Um, and this is a big skein. Um, it is an 8 ounce, 227 grams, 212 yards, 194 meters. Um, it takes four balls to make this blanket. Not making the blanket. Uh, I, well, I don't have four balls of this color anyway. Um, this color is called Lavender. It's a five bulky, use a 6.5 millimeter hook, which apparently is an 11 SC, 13R, I don't know, I don't know, oh, 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 my bad, my bad. It's a K 10 and a half, um, if you go by the letters, or I, I don't do the letters, because I have a set of hooks, okay, I'm gonna go off on a tangent here real quick. I have a set of hooks, that I ordered from Amazon. I think I paid like 10 or $12 for them. They come in a little case and they have the rubber ends on them, um, which I guess is like the Susan Bates or maybe Clover. Maybe it's Clover that does that. Well, these were like 10 or 12 bucks. This was when I first started crocheting. Uh, I bought them and they have letters. I mean, they have numbers, millimeters, but they don't have letters. And those are the hooks that I use most of the time. So I don't quite get the whole letter thing. Um, I'm, I'm figuring it out, but I still don't, like, I can't, if you say this is going to be an eye hook, I'm going to be like, um, so anyway, that's, that's the whole other tangent. So 6.5 millimeter hook, or, and it also says 6.5 millimeter needles or 10 and a half US. So anyway, I got the lavender because I have a lavender and I love this yarn. I, somebody told me that it's really similar to those latte cakes, um, and it's very similar to this one too, this butter and cream, uh, or buttercream that I think comes from Joann's. They're very similar, and I love this one too. This I think the hoogay is a little softer. Oh, honey's coming in. So anyway, I did use my 60% off coupon and bought this. I did video when I was there. Um, it's like eight and a half minutes. I tried to, somebody said, <laughs> somebody commented in my comments, when you video in the store, just pretend you're talking to someone on the phone. So I was trying to do that, but I'm sure that the voice is very quiet because I wasn't doing that very well. I was still a little um, embarrassed. So and there's that. Um, so anyway, I got the purple, and, and I'm going to put it at the end of this video. So if you want to watch it, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine with me. I'm cool. Cool with that. So they did have the Stitch Studio cotton, what is this called? Cotton colors. Um, they did have this still marked down to $5 from 10. So I didn't have this color, so I had to buy it. It is called dark purple, light purple pink, but it's definitely like a charcoal gray on the outside. Um, and it's very, very light in the center. Um, and it has that center pole. I know I've showed you these before. They're just gorgeous. This is thicker than that amazing lace yarn. And this is listed as a two, or I think the, a two fine, but the amazing lace I think is a one. And it says use a three and a half millimeter hook, which is a US four. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's a four millimeter hook, which is a US C two. Three and a half millimeter needles, US four. Um, but I bought that because I didn't have this one. So I just paid the five bucks for that. Um, like I said, I wasn't really feeling the yarn yesterday, so for some strange reason. So uh, I was debating on what else to buy because I had to use my, my coupon. I, you know, my $10 free anyway. And so I, I have this, that's five. <laughs> I still got five more bucks to spend. And I, and I decided to buy this. Um, it is, uh, Premier Anti-Pilling Bamboo. 
I haven't, and it's chunky. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen the chunky before. And it says that it's like new after wash. So you can read that there. I have another. They were on sale three for nine dollars. Um, I love the color. So let me tell you about it. It's super soft, knitter approved. Well, I hope it's a crochet or approved as well because I don't knit. Uh, 131 yards, 120 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 80% anti-pilling acrylic, 20% rayon from bamboo. And it says you can get free patterns on premiersyarns.com. Uh, oh, see, I'm supposed to be showing this to you and I'm reading it myself. Uh, anyway, the color is dragon fruit. And there was one more thing I wanted to tell you. Oh, yeah, it's a five bulky. Um, six and a half millimeter hook, USK ten and a half. So I bought three of these in this color. Um, that's 120 yards, I think I said. So that should be enough to make something, right, on this five. I, it's soft. And like I said, I don't think I have anything like this. And I, or in this kind of a pinkyish, lightish purple color. So I, I really love the color and I love the yarn. So that is what I bought. And I'm going to tell you this was what was so cool. I saved $26.95 and I spent $8.64. That's a thumbs up. I think that's a Rose Loves Crochet kind of sale there. I was pretty proud of myself for that. Um... I did not use the 50 by $50, get $10 free. I just, I just didn't. Um, so my daughter would be really proud of me for that. I should really show her this video so she can see that. I, on the other hand, I'm like, what did I want, what? But that's okay. I, I did have fun in there. I just didn't spend a lot of money on yarn. Didn't buy a lot. That's okay. I did have one other thing I wanted to say. I watched a video um, today from Judy at Witch Piece Craft. Uh, she had a, a comment about somebody posting in her comments trying to shout out their own channel and putting their own channel link in the comments of her video. And she was like, is that you know, good YouTube etiquette, she's questioning. I think it's terrible YouTube etiquette myself. If you want to shout out your own channel, you know, do it with permission. Um, so, that's my opinion. You can be upset with me if you want to or not. A lot of us do do shout outs. I don't do them as often as I should. I just forget to write people's names down. Uh, I do watch a lot of YouTube videos, um, and I do get notifications when you are have a public profile and you subscribe to my channel which I totally love I get a notification in my email and then I always click to see if you have a channel that does content some people have channels and they have no content they don't even come up this channel has no content if you have content then I always try to subscribe to your channel um, so if any of you have channels and are subscribed to me and I'm not subscribed to you Drop me an email because that's probably unintentional. When I first started my channel, I didn't like even think about that. I'm like, oh, somebody subscribed. Yay, yay, yay. And I didn't even think to like do that. So I feel bad if I didn't because it was unintentional. It was just lack of knowledge. So that being said, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to shout it out in the comments of this video, go for it. I'm a happy camper to share the joy, share the love. Um, and I am more than willing to let you shout out specifically in this video. Um, you have my, all my permissions that you want. Uh, I can use all the subscribers I can get when I, as of recording this, I was at 741, 750 is hopefully by tomorrow because then it's a giveaway. Yay. Um, and I know most of us can use, you know, additional love. So put your... Put your email, you know, your channel link in there and people scroll through the bottom and see if there's anybody's name that you 
aren't subscribed to that you think you might want to check out and do so and then subscribe because everybody can you know everybody can use a shout out so shout yourselves out and um happy crocheting happy shopping thanks for watching sharing subscribing and hopefully we'll have a really good video tomorrow with 750 subscribers or more thanks for watching thanks for sharing thanks for all of that stuff Happy hooking. See you in the next video. Bye. So here I am at AC Moore. I don't have a lot of time. Lori is at this gas station. But I thought they still have this on sale. And I have a $10 free merchandise. And I'm debating if I want to get one of these. Um, they must be getting rid of them because they were on sale for $5 last week. But these were on sale last week and they're not on sale this week. And the blanket. Not that good of a sale this week. I have so many of these. I'm not going to buy those, even though they're they've been on sale cheaper, two eighty three or something. Um, the Ferris wheels are three dollars. And the velvet retro velvet is on sale for five. And the Stitch Studios are on sale still for five. I have a 60% off coupon too, so I bought, I'm going to have one of these, I'm going to buy another one. Um, I'm not jumping up and down for joy at the sales here. Nothing on this side is on sale. More on this side. Um these mandelas are on clearance but I mean it's not that great of a price and these are on sale for clearance for five bucks but they ran them on sale three for ten sometimes so that's not such a great deal I have a coupon it's good for today only if I spend fifty dollars I get ten dollars off but truthfully I'm not seeing anything that's really jumping out at me that I gotta buy it. I was gonna buy more of this, but I wanted it in the cream color. And I have one in the purple, so I'm gonna get another one. I don't have any in the white. Now this anti-pilling bamboo is on sale. Which I don't have any of that. It's very soft. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoops. Uh oh. I guess I better clean that up. I get three of those for free. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should try that. It's chunky. Like new after wash. Super soft. 131 yards. So how much of a super bulky, I mean a chunky, do you need to make something? I kind of like this color. It's a purplier color than what it's looking here. Um, trying to see if I see a color name. Dragon fruit. It's like a pinky. And this one is called blue raspberry. I think I like the dragon fruit one better. 
than that really pretty gray at the bottom. And I kind of like this one too. Um, pomegranate. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's kind of sad I have coupons in my pocket burning a hole and I can't find any yarn I want to buy. Who would ever think? Don't tell my daughter. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well... I will have to let you know what I decide tomorrow when I upload this video. Uh oh. What's this on clearance for $3? What is this? Stitch Studio? Mystic Waves? I don't think I've ever seen this before from Stitch Studio. It's like the. Oh, you know. That Red Heart Unforgettable. That's very interesting. Hmm. Three dollars. Four weight, seventy percent acrylic, thirty percent wool. Oh, you can't see that because I have it in the wrong way. With a four. Wait, what is this? This is just acrylic, isn't it? Um. Oh, it's. Uh, I want you to be able to see, but I gotta be able to see too. Um, here, look at these pretty yarns for a minute. <laughs> Unforgettable machine one. Oh, no. I don't know, I can't find it. Okay, well, the landscapes is 100% acrylic, but this one's got wool in it. It's kind of soft. But I have a lot of that kind of yarn. But I only have this bamboo stuff. I think I'm going to go with the bamboo. What do you guys think? Anti-pilling bamboo? Okay, we'll try that. Okay, I'll take care of my coupon and my 60% off. And the $10 off of 50, I'm just not seeing it. I'll keep looking. I probably could come up with $50 worth of yarn that I want to buy, don't you think? Just, I don't know. I know Vanna's Choice has a yarn, and it's on sale right now, but I'm not seeing the yarn I want. That has like gold trim through it. That's not in here. Oh, look at this Red Heart Soft. Oh, it is very soft. Have you seen that before? I probably haven't. I just haven't paid attention. I probably have some. Huh. Okay, well, this is yarn shopping today. I will see you t tomorrow when I upload this video. Bye.